Let's talk a little bit about intellectual property. What do I mean by intellectual property? What I mean is any invention or creation from the human mind that the law protects is considered to be intellectual property. It belongs to the person that created it. So the law protects many different um, creative works, inventions, and so forth. Normally when you create something unique, it's automatically copyrighted, which means that you control its distribution. If you control something's distribution, then you control how money is made off of it and so forth. I've got an article right here. Um, it's called How to Copyright Material, but it does a very good job of describing the different laws and ways that intellectual property is protected. For example, a copyright is something that protects when you create a unique work, whereas a patent protects an invention or a discovery. Things like trademarks are like the Coca-Cola logo or different symbols that explain where the source of something is. So you can't just go out and create your own cola and put Coca-Cola on the front or anything that has its likeness. Trademarks are what protect things like logos, slogans, and things like that. So make sure you read this article. I think it does a really good job of explaining the different types of protections afforded intellectual property. And then I have a video that I want you to watch that talks about the public domain. What used to happen was intellectual property was given a certain period of time in which the creator had exclusive control over it. But at some point, that person lost control and it became part of what was called the public domain. Basically, that no one owned it and everyone could use it. But that's changed recently and this video does a good job of explaining the forces at play. So the public domain refers to creative materials not protected by law. They now belong to everyone. They're in the public domain. Anyone can use them without um, fear of legal reprisal. Also, let's say you create something and you don't want to retain a copyright. Let's say you want your creative work to be used, remixed, and shared um, far and wide. What you can do is you can put a license type on it. For example, Creative Commons is one way that you can mark your creative works as usable by other people. And there's different levels at which you can do this. So to share your creative work, you can use a Creative Commons or some other type of licensing which permits other people to use your work. It gives them the green light. For example, in our class, we use Kenny Assets. Now, we make a donation to Kenny. We make sure that we honor his work by helping fund it, but he automatically puts a license on his game assets that says, please freely use these. He uses a Creative Commons Zero license, which basically says, my inventions are part of the public domain and you don't even have to credit me. You don't even have to put my name down. If you did, that would be great, but I don't require you to do so. This is one of the most generous ways of sharing your creative works that's humanly possible. Regardless, if you are using someone else's material, you should credit them. One of the things we do is we credit Kenny because we are using his assets in our splash screens. We credit him when we package the assets together in the README file. And we honor his hard work by donating annually to um, help fund his development. So regardless of whether something is Creative Common licensed um, zero, where you don't have to attribute or um, recognize the creator, you should always recognize the creator whenever you use someone else's work, regardless of how it is licensed. If it's in the public domain, it's not as big of a deal. But if it does have um, the ability to be protected by law, but somebody has relinquished that, you should honor that. One of the things is sounds are very difficult to find in the public domain and Creative Commons Zero. So we, in some of our games, have purchased sounds. And the license types that come with these require that we not redistribute them. So what I would ask you is that do not distribute the sounds found in the model games because we are not legally permitted to do so. Regardless, I paid for these sounds, but we are going to credit the creators because our philosophy is we should credit the people who created the awesome stuff that's included in our game. We shouldn't act like it's ours.